but he does say that he can't elaborate and that there is, in fact, an NDA in place. He also talks about how he regrets how he handled the media scrum for All Out, uh, the, fi the infamous incident where he and the elite got into it backstage. Uh, he did also humorously say he does not like scrums in general, and he thinks that they're pretty cringe. I like them, but depends on how they're used. Some people are better at them than others. Um, uh, Punk says he believes AEW will continue to exist as long as Tony Khan wants it to, because he will... Um, continue to pump as much money into it as he feels he needs to to keep that company going um he talks about his priorities and how he feels they weren't aligned with the companies with aew's priorities and with uh the people who work there's priorities uh he says that if you're more worried about five star ratings than uh attendance in your building they aren't in the same type of business now, do I think he's wrong for that? No, I don't think he's wrong for that. I think he is right. Do I also think that it's very weird that uh, the guy who made his name on the indies and was all about the people is a little more... Con I, I don't know. There, there's something there that felt a little off with me considering his upbringing in the wrestling business, but I understand his point of view on that one. Just It's, it's weird to hear, in my opinion. Uh, he, uh, Punk talked about what his goals were with Collision, which was to draw at least one more ticket sold than the last time they were in the venue. I, I think Punk did have a lot of good intentions, even if it's not necessarily what he wanted. I just think, I think things got very murky for him and he didn't know how to, a lot of people didn't know how to handle it. Uh, this was a big bite that I loved and I think is very, very interesting. Uh, 